So today's video is going to be on drag and more specifically it's going to be on induced drag. So just to review there are two types of drag. There's parasite drag and induced drag and in my last video which you can click on the top right of the screen to, to watch this video we talked about the three forms of parasite drag which is form drag, interference drag, and skin friction drag. So if you want to watch that go ahead and click that video but today we're going to focus on induced drag. So what is induced drag? Induced drag is a drag caused by lifts. That's why it's called induced. It's induced by lift. More specifically, it's caused by the wingtip vortices which are created from the low and high pressure areas that create lift above and below the wing. So high pressure air wants to get to areas of low pressure. It can do this at two places. It can do this at the trailing edge of the wing and at the wing tips. And I'll show you a visualization of that here in a second. So this movement of the air towards the wingtips, as well as up from below to above the wing, so it's, the air is moving from the leading edge to the aft edge of the wings as you fly through the air, and then it's also wanting to go from below the wing to above the wing because of the pressure differential. This creates the movement of wingtip vortices as uh, the trail the wing. So what does that look like? So I'm going to try and draw a three-dimensional wing here. All right, so we have areas of high pressure below here, and we have areas of low pressure up here. And then we have our free stream air like this. Okay, and then we also have air that wants to get up from the high pressure to the low pressure. So what that does is the air then as it comes off the back of the wing the trailing edge of the wing it's going up and back and then as it trails it ends up turning back down into these vortices so as the air flows off the wing tips it turns upwards beyond the tip of the wing before again like i said turning back down as you can see all these vortices end up turning back down as the wing flows through the air. Now all these vortices turning down here creates a net downwash. This is the induced drag. This downwash is almost like a weight or someone is pulling on the back of the aircraft, pulling it down. This creates a form of drag which slows your aircraft and is against the forward movement of your aircraft. This is induced drag caused by the vortices creating a net downwash off the back of your aircraft. And here's a GIF showing, uh, a really cool uh, GIF showing the vortices in the clouds following as you can see they turn down and that downward net force is what causes that induced drag.